So today we're going to show you how to connect and install Mailgun to your high level account for both your agency and your personal account. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go straight to Mailgun and we're going to go again and get started. And again, uh, very simple in here. Uh, the one thing that you do have to watch out is again, you don't want to go into foundational trial because you won't have that reply back. Uh, again, if that doesn't really matter to you and you're a single account owner, that's fine. We just noticed that every time we go to foundational trial, there is sometimes disconnects that happen and that 5,000 um, limit per month, messages per month does get hit pretty quickly. So we usually tell and recommend that you wanna go to the 50K plan. Now, if you start off with a trial and you go to the 50K plan, your setup will actually break and you're gonna to have to reinstall the API or get your admin if you're not running this account for yourself. You're gonna to need to get your admin to reset it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill out the payment information. So I'm gonna pause this video. But again, the one thing that you have to worry about here, make sure to fully uh, put in your email address and then come in here and select that foundational plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause and I'm gonna go put in my credit card information and we'll be right back. All right, now that I've created my account, I wanna make sure that I do two very important things. One, you're gonna get two emails inside your account. One email is gonna to be to verify your account. You need to make sure you do that because if you skip this step, it will break the connection and it will stop you from sending out and receiving emails. So the first thing that I wanna do is in that verification email, as you can see, it comes in, it's just account verification. There is one little button I gotta click. I'm gonna go ahead and click. And also, when you first log in, as you can see, you have activate your account, add a verify domain, start sending, get better email deliverability. Now, we're definitely gonna be doing all this. This is a great read, but as I mentioned, if you're a growing agency and you want better deliverability, moving to a dedicated IP and validating emails is a very significant and important thing you wanna do. Uh, but we'll get to that in a few minutes, but the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and in that verification email, we wanna make sure we verify. It's gonna ask me to enter my phone number. Again, I'm gonna pause and do that. All right, and I went ahead and I validated, um, it asked me for a verification code, it sent it over to my cell phone, and then I went ahead and validated the email. Now, when you come first in here, uh, you, you're gonna wanna make sure that you kind of just kind of get a general lay of the land of what's going on. Now, here's a confirmation of where, uh, what kind of plan you're on. Uh, over time, you're gonna be able to see how many uh, emails you actually send out, how many dedicated servers you have, what your actual retention of email logs is gonna be, and then the amount of verifications you're doing. Now, we enable verifications for the agency side and even for our personal side, because we wanna make sure that the emails that are going out are being validated and they're not sending to junk emails. Now, why that's important, if you're running ads uh, and if you're an agency and you're doing ads for, let's say, uh, real estate agents or car dealers, or whatever it might be, it doesn't matter what niche it is, uh, there sometimes tends to be a little bit of garbage leads, right? Where people put in fake email addresses and believe it or not, that will actually hurt your deliverability. So you wanna make sure that you definitely get uh, your verifications and your validations up. It's a service that I would recommend definitely uh, installing and we're gonna go over that today. So what we're gonna do is, again, now that I've kind of got the lay of the land, I know I've been verified because one, uh, and see, it does say that we sent an activa activation email. This happened to us just the other day. Uh, if you see this, just make sure you send, uh, you hit the resend button. And in the activation email, if it sends and it says um, there's been an error, it means that you've already been activated. It's just that this hasn't updated just as yet. So um, while I hit that button, I'm waiting for the email. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start setting up the domain. So the first thing you're gonna do is, um, we, if you've been following along, we recommend you moving your, um, your domains over to Cloudflare. I'm gonna go ahead and log into Cloudflare. All right, so if you come in here, go ahead and log in. And I'm gonna go into the domain that I specifically bought just for emails. Now, why did I do that? If Because I'm running an agency, I wanna make sure that I buy a domain that is similar to domain of the um, full CRM that I'm sending emails out of, but what I wanna do is just get one that's solely dedicated for mail, just in case, like we've had happen in the past, uh, a customer of ours decides to send 100,000 emails to a cold list uh, and it will tend to burn the, the domain out and it's really hard to recover. So uh, we always like to buy a dedicated domain, if I'm an agency, directly to 
um, you know, whatever the CRM is that you're going to be naming it. Now, if you are a sole user, you're going to want to make sure you use just do you, I wouldn't use, I still wouldn't use your main domain. I would kind of do a different domain, but if you have to, it's not a big deal because you're the one that's going to be sending out the email. So there's a lot more control there, right? So there you can just use a subdomain uh, for the domain versus this domain. In this situation, we are going to use this domain strictly only for this. Uh, and we're going to go over to our DNS settings and I'm just going to have that ready. Now in Mailgun, um, what's really cool is there, you know, the, the process is fairly simple. You're going to go over here and uh, you can either, you know, go right here and add a custom domain, verify the domain. You can do all of this. Um, so you can literally get started right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the domain. Uh, now we're going to do US. Uh, we're on a shared IP. Remember, we're, we're just starting out. We don't want to go to a full dedicated IP. If you bought the $80 plan, you'll have the dedicated IP ready here and ready for you. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, there's a lot of back and forth of what kind of subdomain you should use. Um, you know, a lot of people are using MG for Mailgun. Uh, some people use replies. We've been a big fan of using replies if you're using this for a personal. So, for instance, if I was using this for my personal uh, account, I would do replies. Um, I would do, we're going to use dentist access, right? So mail at dentist access. Okay. And I can just have it there and I can create a subdomain. Um, and you can create unlimited do, uh, domains in here. So it, it really doesn't matter about the domains. Collectively, you're only allowed to send whatever the amount of emails that you're allowed to send in. So putting in like this one is just fine. Uh, for this situation, we're actually going to leave it at replies and we're going to do mail dentistaccess.com. And then we're going to go ahead and hit add domain. All right, so we're going to give it a second. Now that we've added our domain, what we're going to do is we're going to install the record inside of our DNS provide uh, DNS service manager, which is going to be Cloudflare in this situation. So all we have to do is literally we're going to take all these records and we're going to be adding the records inside of our Cloudflare account. So um, I, because I did replies, the first record I'm going to add, and it tells you right here, is going to be a text record, right? This is the type. It's going to have the host name and then it's going to ask you to enter the value. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go ahead and add the record. Um, I'm going to go to text. Because I use the subdomain, I have to create it. So, right. So I'm going to use replies. And this is the reason why we're out of Cloudflare. It's really easy to create subdomains inside of Cloudflare. It makes the process really smooth. Uh, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to copy my first value. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it. All right. So this includes our SPF and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Awesome, I got my first record in. The second one is gonna be your DKIM record uh, for a particular mailgun. Obviously you see that we have ours uh, blurred out because that is our domain key. So this is uh, a record that you don't wanna give out. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another text record, add a text record, come right here, text. Again, we're using replies as a subdomain, but you gotta get the first initial part of this. So from K1 all the way to replies, yours is going to be different. It might have a different code key in the front, and that's okay. Just copy it all the way until your subdomain ends. Uh, and then right from there, you're going to copy your DKIM. And again, we're going to pause the video and blur that out for a second. Uh, but this is going to be the DKIM record. It's significantly long. You want to make sure you use the two little white um, boxes right here because what will ensure is that you don't have any additional spaces because it will mess up the setup. All right, so I went ahead and added my domain key. And again, I have that all set. The next record I'm gonna add is going to be my MX records. So I'm gonna come over here, add record. Instead of text this time, we're gonna go to an MX. And then again, because we're using a subdomain, we're gonna put in replies. Now, uh, I, I just always recommend using a subdomain. It keeps things very uh, simplistic. Um, but again, just do it this way. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna copy our first MX record, plop it into here and then the priority is going to be 10. Now, the next one is going to be another record. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add. I'm going to go to WebMax. I'm going to come over here, hit replies. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, get the next one, which is going to be the B. Oop. Ah. There we go. And we're going to give it a 10 for priority, right? So one is the first mail server. The second one is the second server. It's just a backup and a redundancy. And then uh, the most important one, uh, and this is going to be for tracking opens, clicks and unsubscribes, which is super recommended as it see, you see it there. So you're going to want to make sure you grab the replies 
So email.replies, you wanna make sure you grab it there. It would be whatever your subdomain is that you decide to choose. I recommend don't go too crazy with the subdomains. Oops, I just made a mistake here. Um, don't go too crazy with the subdomains because what will happen is um, if you use like mail or email, like it's gonna block some other things. So you just wanna make sure like replies is a really good one, MG is a really good one. Uh, just use one that's simplistic and it's not gonna you know complicate um, you know other records that might be going in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add record. This time it's gonna be a C name. I'm gonna put in that email.replies. Now uh, for the target, we're gonna go to mailgun.org. Boom, paste that. And I am gonna remove the cloud. We have noticed that if we leave the cloud on, uh, it does create connection issues. So we're just gonna leave it off. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and hit save. And we're gonna come over here. And now we gotta wait a few minutes because what we're gonna do next is we're gonna verify the records. We're looking for all green check marks. Now, sometimes what will happen, we don't know why, like it will just skip this screen and go to completion stage. And then it doesn't finally verify the the c name so i'm going to show you how to come back in just in case that happens to you it does happen with us quite often when we do setups um so just want to make sure you guys are aware great right on the first shot up we got a little problem here and this happens sometimes see it's seen the record but it's not uh giving a validation check mark so i'm going to hit verify dns settings one more time see it did exactly what i told you it was going to do it's going to skip the record so what i do is i go to sending Inside of sending on the left hand side and I'm going to go all the way domain settings. I'm going to go to DNS. I'm going to go to DNS records and I'm going to validate that all my green check marks are here because remember I had that X in that text message uh, in that text message in that text record and I want to make sure it didn't carry over. So this all looks great. I verified I got green check marks. I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to domain settings and there's a couple things I'm going to turn on. Now, if you are a, um, an agency, strong recommend that you uh, immediately turn on your unsubscribe and make sure that that's on and save your, unsubs uh, uh, your unsubscribe and tracking settings. Uh, you can uh, basically, you know, however you want to, you know, make this personalized, you can. Uh, on HTMLs, you can, add, um, you can add anything you want in here. Again, it already comes pretty standard and this will be added to the bottom of every email that goes out. Uh, but this is incredibly important because your customers will sometimes not create an unsubscribe in their signature, not create an unsubscribe process, and you will again burn the, burn the domain pretty fast. So the other thing that we like to do is we like to click uh, click tracking because sometimes we um, like to tra track like you know when somebody clicks an email. So we're going to go ahead and save the click tra tracking in there. And then we also want to make sure we collect on open tracking for good for different stats that you might want to collect. And when it comes to the tracking protocol, we do like to put the HTTPS on and we're gonna go ahead and hit save. And as you can see, it's generating the certificates as we speak. It just makes it more secure and everything's still good. Domain settings here. I turned everything that I needed on. So the one extra thing that we like to do is activate two-factor authentication. Come in here, make sure you're going over to the actual account. So if you come in here, you go to account and you go all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see two-factor. Now. Uh, the setup can be different. Um, Google authentication works great. So I'm just gonna set up in, in here. I'm gonna pause because it's gonna ask for some credentials and then I'll resume in a second. Make sure you do it. You can do it through the authentication app, which is an app that goes in your phone and it uses a, bar, a scan code in order to do that. Again, just because I'm in Google all day long, it's just easier for me to do that, but I should do that at our records. The next part that, of this is gonna be getting this inside of high level, both for your agency and also for the individual account that you're gonna be using. So if you're, all right, now that you set up your domain and you're ready to go, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna grab the API key that we need in order to set this up for our agency. We're gonna do the agency first and then we're gonna tell you how to do your personal account. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna to go to settings and in settings, I'm gonna to go to Mailgun. And once I'm in this area, the first thing, I'm gonna go back into Mailgun and I'm gonna grab my private API key. So let me go ahead and copy that. Awesome. I had to hit the little pen mark. Once I hit the little pen mark, I'm gonna go ahead and install the new key. So uh, once I do that, it's gonna give me a dropdown of which one I want to, uh, which domain I wanna use. You're only gonna have one, but you might have multiples. Just select the domain that you want for the entire agency. If I'm using somebody else's, actual uh, service or I'm using a variation of high level that I, I purchased from someone else, you're gonna wanna give this API code 
uh, if you're using your personal Mailgun server to uh, the support team and they'll usually install it. Some actually have it in integrations through code. They actually have the ability of putting the Mailgun code in there. So it's whatever you choose at that point in time. The other thing that we want to make sure we do on the sending, again, we've checked all this, we're ready to go. And as you can see, it's already got my reply uh, address all set up because the second I, I put it into the dashboard here, oop, it automatically created the receiving route because I was on that foundational plan. So this is how you create Mailgun. Now remember, uh, make sure you have an unsubscribed process for yourself and for your customers, uh, in, including an automation. Make sure you're, you're doing all the things as, as far as having an opt-out uh, page. Uh, that allows a person to opt out of whatever emails and just make the process really easy for the customers and make sure you explain to them this is not for cold emails. Uh, and if you want to start turning email validation for any of your accounts, just make sure you're turning email validation literally right in here. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it. That is the setup of how you set up Mailgun inside of High Level. And we hope you enjoy this video.